thank you for sharing your afternoon with us on Cabo Bay in LA, where we are showcasing the Pasadena Showcase House of Design. At the top of the program, I promised you that today we're going to be doing three things. We're going to be celebrating Cabo Bay in pride. We're going to be uh, looking at wonderfully decorated rooms. And we're also going to get maybe some tips on how we can decorate our own homes. And we are doing all that today, sitting here on chairs that were flown in from Cebu. Yay, that's Cabo Bay in pride. In just a little while, also you'll meet a designer who is a Kababayan. But for now, I want to introduce you to two other designers who worked on some of the other areas of this particular house. Karen, I was uh, uh, talking to Katie earlier, and she she kept saying uh, that they chose prominent designers to work in each and every part of the house. How does that make you feel? I mean, I guess congratulations for being chosen to be one of the designers to work on this house. Thank you. Um, we've... Um We've enjoyed a relationship with uh, with the group from Pasadena, and um, I think there's a, a there's an expectation of what we're to deliver, and um, um, we we delivered it before, and we you know we've delivered it this time. So it gives you a, a, a great creative outlet. Um, they give you some parameters, as in color. They give you the space, and then they pretty much turn you free and let you do your thing. What are the challenges, aside from the restrictions when you said parameters, I guess you have to work around those, but then any other problems that you encounter? I think the major consideration would be that we need to um, uh, try to be considerate of what the owners of the house would want, as well as being able to do something a little bit exciting, maybe a little bit outside of the box, such as hanging the swing inside a uh, space. But I guess the issues would be that you're constantly trying, or you're constantly on a deadline. You're in this particular situation. We were working with two other designers, and we're sort of stepping over each other to get our spaces done. And that too, working with other designers. Here's one designer right here to my right, Terry, who has actually worked on the Pasadena Showcase House of Design for 14 years in a row now. How has it evolved and how have you evolved as a landscape designer? Well, that's a great question. Actually, this was our first house because in 2000, this was a house and at that time, we did just the uh, hardscape. And then from there, we've evolved to we have uh, eight landscape designers working with our firm right now. What are the challenges? Well, the challenge that we had out there is it, it was mainly the whole front area was just a lawn, which was kind of boring. So we put the water and the waterfall and the stream that goes down the side just to give it some life. And we actually added water in a lot of our designs because it's something that's moving and, and customers from time to time always come back and say, we love the water the most. Yes, and you know, in feng shui, I don't know if you believe in those, uh, as interior designers, they say that water is actually very um, significant. Yes, water is significant and the placement of the water is significant yes, too. Yes, so exactly. it's perfect because it's a very welcoming site when you when you enter the property. And I love that yeah, you, you mentioned earlier working with other designers, a sharing space. How is it like working with, with the other designers? Well, it's actually a lot of fun because we know since we've been here a long, long time, 14 years, we know a lot of the designers. We work together. We work really well with the other landscape designers so we can even share ideas off of each other. It's a, a, a lot of fun working here. And especially working in a house like this, it's like 21 rooms. Uh, I keep saying this, nine bathrooms and eight gardens and you had to decorate this particular room. Um, what were some of the changes that you made? I know this this one, and I've been wanting to ask you, how heavy can it carry before the ceiling falls off? Well, we, we were actually very lucky because this room originally had two very small windows. It was very dark, but um, they decided at the last minute that they were going to put in the 18-foot La Cantina doors. It opened up the light, but um, in doing so, we had to in order to support the weight of the swing and perhaps three people. When the ceiling was open to do all of that, we also reinforced the ceiling. So we had to hit those targets uh, when we came in to attach the swing to the ceiling. Marvelous, and this is really a brilliant idea. Now, for the benefit of viewers out there, some of them don't have the luxury of living in a 21-room house. Um, what, what would be like a best, maybe, if you can impart to them, a decorating tip? Well, I would just say that when you approach any space, um, 
that you should not be not try to be so traditional in your thoughts on this space to sort of think a little bit outside of the box and see how your family actually lives because if your family lives a certain way then the dining room doesn't necessarily have to be the dining room it can be another room and i think that when this particular case we decided that we wouldn't put a traditional sofa in two chairs that we would allow this to be an indoor outdoor space which is so important in southern california yes exactly and i love the chairs and i love that the chairs came from Cebu. Any particular story? The tables, um, this is a whole new collection uh, from um, uh, the company Artistica. Everything has been, um, we thought, worked very, very well with the textures and the feeling of warmth for this room. And now that she's given her advice, in, uh, designing advice, what about your landscaping advice? I know water, aside from that. Well, besides from that, I think it's really important that somebody gets a designer you're going to get your money back three three four five times because something planned well to begin with and thought out is going to save you from tearing it out and redoing it and doing it again and and just being able to be prepared and look at the different go to design centers and look at design showrooms and look at your materials ahead of time before you you know put the shovel on the ground that makes sense. They actually studied for this. They are the experts. And of course, you know, getting a designer uh, showcase at the Pasadena Showcase House, you can't go wrong. Thank you and congratulations to both of you.